then we have to improve our motor skills maintain and improve fine motor functioning maintain and improve gross motor functioning promote the identification different parts you have to identify as a as a therapist you have to identify the different parts of the body how they function only not not the uh, exhaustive study just as the medical students do but you should know which organ functions and what type of functions they do improve the reach and grasp release skills then maintain to improve range of motion the movement motion and improve the eye hand coordination now these things are very important improve the auditory and visual perceptions how to improve that and how to integrate the auditory and visual by visual imagination visual techniques visual imagery techniques you have to coordinate the auditory and the visual centers and the language center these centers function actually together that is why the vocal part of the music is important because the brain processes these things in a at a actually integrated way then the emotional skills the increasing the verbal and non verbal expression of feelings you have to express the feelings no a music therapist has to express your feelings the express of the feelings means you don't have to express anger and all that veera you need not have but you should have the mathura the valsalya ah, the valsalya part the mathura part then the karuna the bhakti devotion these pa these things if you can bring out in your music in your voice not only in music in your speech these things express your feelings in correctly and those emotional skills are very important for the therapist then improve the self esteem of not only yourself but also of your clients then improve your impulse control increase your attention span develop the coping skills decrease the stress and anxiety in yourself first then try to give that to others then facilitate the grieving process teach the relaxation techniques facilitate exploration of the spiritual concerns then what are the social skills that the farlow music therapy services think important in music therapy one needs to improve social interaction with others if you cannot interact with others you are not fit to be a music therapist then improve appropriate eye contact look into the eyes and speak you don't have to be like <laughs> you can't speak as if you can't look at the face of somebody as if you have got some guilty conscience don't do, never do that look at the face and be frank and that type of appropriate eye contact and then speech improve ability to touch others appropriately this people are very thoroughly mistaken about what it is all about when a client comes to you that client is your child actually that is child means somebody who has come to you with total faith in you that you will help him help him or her out of that difficult situation at that time if you are very rough rough touch it will be just like you know, they want it will not give them that feeling that this person will help me instead if your touch is especially for nursing students nurses when they touch the clients maybe it for it for just taking the pulse or for so much some other thing no pulse taking then doing some temperature this thing is everything when they touch changing the clothes or changing the bed sheets everything when the touch is done it should be very soft and it should be just like a mother's touch to a child even if the nurse is a 20 year old girl and the client is a 80 year old person it should be like a mother to a child that is how how you make it is your practical concern so the touching others appropriately then increase the willingness to be touched by others what do you mean by that it doesn't mean that you have to be able to suffer everybody's touch it doesn't mean that but when a suffering person in a terrible state of mind or in a stressed condition touch your hand don't withdraw the hand as if it is 
dirty or something like uh, that that type of thing that should not be there you should be a little bit more concerned humanitarian concern should be there to, when you behave with the patients you should be very uh, compassionate loving helpful and conscious of your social responsibilities and increase the ability to share materials equipments etc with others with your colleagues with your clients with everybody in the you don't you should not have any selfish motives so even i have heard, oh, I, very sorry to say that but one of the one student came from germany she told me that everybody is keeping their music therapy as if it is a very secret thing nobody is giving it to me i have come here to understand something about the indian music therapy and i came that you are the only person who gave me all the material without any i said i am not keeping this for some um, for some secret purpose no i don't have any need to make money that stage is over for me so my intention is just to give away what knowledge i have acquired so there is no need to uh, keep things shut out you no know? i just give everything to you but who takes it is their concern you no know? it is not mine it is just like the sun is giving the sunlight to everybody who gets it is not the sun's concern it is just like that i am giving the vidya to everybody who takes it and who benefits by that i cannot say that maybe somebody benefits and other people may not be benefiting by that that's all so be unselfish about sharing your vidya your equipments your knowledge with others improve the ability to accept constructive criticism from others constructive criticism not destructive criticism if somebody comes with destructive criticism just ignore it don't take any heed of that but if it is a constructive criticism which will improve your profession constructive criticism should be something which should improve your profession nothing else is constructive criticism every other thing you just remove as it is none of my concern so ignore destructive criticism but listen to constructive criticism improve the ability to make choices in initiate the responses from your clients improve the ability to accept praise and give praise to others when somebody does a good thing be liberal to give a praise to them you don't have to be stingy about your words when somebody has done a good thing say that it is a good thing don't try to find out some fault with that as if you have done a great mountain of work and you have not even raised a little finger to do something but you are finding fault with a person who has done all the effort that type of stinginess is not at all good and that type of people are actually destructive people destructive criticism comes from such people actually so ignore such people and I'll act, be able to accept praise if it is really if you are really worthy of that praise you accept it but don't take mugasturi don't take the uh, face value uh, uh, praising people may do that for getting some something so don't get into that and at the same time give praise to especially to the juniors students everybody give that praise in a profuse way if they do a small thing even give them a, a, a pat on their shoulders give them a good good word so that they will be encouraged to do more work then improve your interpersonal and intrapersonal skills which are very important and to build relationships permanent lasting relationships with people who come across you not with may not be able to reach out to you in their world but those people who come to you have a beautiful perfect relationship with them these things are very important in music therapy then leisure skills develop skills to participate in appropriate leisure time activities hobbies etc you allow them to have some space for improving their hobbies and all that also will give you a short sort of relaxation to the clients then develop knowledge of available leisure time activation then there are other skills what are they self help plans to decrease the pain how to you have to, you can teach them how to 
do pain management pain management skills can be taught to a person with music then promote independence how you can be independently happy without uh, see don't depend upon external things for everything you can be happy on your own independently happy person that you can teach actually people facilitate reminiscences and life review and encourage them to have the beautiful reminiscences the past memories beautiful memories and then to review their life this this is a great blessing the life is a blessing i allow them to have that uh, life review develop creativity and the sense of identity anyone who is exposed to good music from childhood develop these skills naturally it's a natural thing that is why the south indian tamil families expose their children to a music culture from a very early age i had the good fortune to listen to music from the age of 4 and i must humbly admit that what all qualities i have acquired in this life might be due to this exposure but i must also say that when i compare the involvement of the children in kerala and in tamil nadu in madras i stayed for 5 years to understand how uh, sort of research and uh, observation the no comparison they actually you, you have to learn certain things from other people we are kerala people but we are definitely we are very knowledgeable people of everything is okay but how the children are exposed to music and how the children are involved in music that is an eye opener only when you go to chennai not in kerala in kerala the children are taught music for getting some praise or some some sort of some awards or rewards or something or to get into the tv show and make a show there and get something or maybe for from for some festivals or something but not that total involvement that day one they are born they are great music listeners i have seen small girls coming and sitting in the sabha hall and uh, opening their books and writing and this, you should see those kids faces he will be happy to see that actually and then i thought that no wonder that these kids become ms balishmi later on or dk patamal later on in life that is the culture they have the we don't have that in kerala actually we don't have we have to see where we are uh, not evolved only then we can improve that side i think we have to improve that side of our musical culture and musical activity and the development of the personality traits depend upon how much we pursue and maintain our interest in music throughout life not just for one year or two years i have learned for two years i have learned for three years i have heard people say that but unless you have a total involvement throughout your life you are not going to get the benefit out of it as a therapy thing as, as a healing thing only those who have some purva punya become involved with like that with music and what i want to assert from the beginning of this music therapy project is that music is not like a chemical substance or a drug as we use in modern medicine just to be taken when there is a illness that concept is totally wrong when there is an illness you go to the doctor and get a prescription for a music what sort of a nonsense is that it is impossible to give a prescription of a music just like a drug and it is more like a lifestyle to be adopted by anyone who wants to remain healthy and happy happy throughout life what type of healthy healthy life physical mental intellectual and spiritual health a total health that is the way music like helps us as a lifestyle the western researchers have gone and done great research on the mozart effect and the mozart when when it was given to a group of clients and others are left without any therapy and the third group with jazz rock etc they found that the gro- group exposed to mozart was benefited most than the other two groups that is how this mozart effect came into being 
and uh, they also found out that the children who were exposed to jack uh, to the jazz rock etc that that sort of thing they become very violent and very aggressive in their behavior and with even sometimes with emotional disturbances increased so they they thought that it will be better to use mass mass art they have their music their the best thing they used that sort and here in india we have beautiful raga effects tyagaraja effect subalakshmi effect or even muthusami dichitar effect or so many effects are there in india nobody has even bothered to to a research on it actually my research was in a, in that way in ethnomusicological part also i tried in my research because from the musical point of view also we have to be a little bit very careful so i have to use one singer nityagraja effect then the recent singer effect i took that because we are i was doing the research in kerala i took that as yesudas so tyagaraja yesudas effect the in that way i had done the ethnomusicological part of the study music is a culture in itself and it has its rich classical tradition in india which is not much tapped for the therapeutic purposes by the medical fraternity i propose to take up this challenge and do something to improve the quality of the clients and of the society through the medium of music but my intention was not only that i had in, an intention to integrate the all the indigenous arts and sciences of india with the western research methods of that we follow in modern medicine and i think i have i have actually made a a, a way i have got how to do that i have actually by, by even though it was a lifetime project i have found out how to do that and how if if in which way if you do that you will be successful that part not at least up to that part i have actually got an idea of it so by definition music therapy is a systematic use of music within a developing relationship within between the patient and therapist to restore to maintain and to improve the physical mental psychological emotional neurological and of course the spiritual health all these functions are improved it is an established healthcare profession that music and music activities act can be used both as treatment programs also as relaxation programs in certain conditions especially in uh, special needs children who need special needs special care in wellness programs so travel then, then geriatric population in those population also you can use but very important it can be used in treatment itself because the therapy is a specific intervention designed on emerging knowledge of how the music affects the brain function and by affecting the brain and neuronal function how the neuro transmitters are released and thereby how it produces our immune status very strong strong immunity so this is the, the the scientific aspect behind the music therapy so it is an integration of the behavioral as well as the physical neurological neuropsych neuropsychological and immunological aspects of the disease of the of the human beings in general so this part you have to know in your music therapy workshops how a neuron will uh, how a neuron what is the structure of a neuron how the neuron will process the information given to it how the ear functions how the larynx the vocal cord functions how the centers in the brain functions to get a total view of this musical knowledge and musical experience this is what you have to learn in your next classes